Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So do I have a video clip to share with you guys today? If you've ever wondered if politicians pass laws that they know absolutely nothing about, this should answer that definitively. We're talking about a video clip of Tim Walls talking about red flags, and it's just going to throw you for a loop, so stay tuned. Now, real quick, before we get started, a great way to support this channel is to one, subscribe. It's free. It only takes a second, but it really does help us out quite a bit. And the second is to check out the main sponsor of this channel, especially if you're somebody who carries to defend yourself, your loved ones, and others. Don't go it alone. If you're somebody who carries to defend yourself, you need a lawyer in your back pocket. And that's what you get with attorneys on retainer. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about what's going on here. So what is a red flag or an ERPO? Well, that's essentially when somebody thinks that you might be a danger to yourself or others. So they go and they report that to law enforcement or the proper authority, depending on what state you're in and they fill out an affidavit, that affidavit goes before a judge, and without you ever knowing anything about it, that judge will determine whether or not there's any validity to that person's claim just based on what they're accusing you of. And then that judge, if, they, if he rubber stamps it, that means that law enforcement then goes to your home and relieves you of all of your Second Amendment related property. Now, not only do they relieve you of that property, but you're no longer able to acquire any until you can go to court after the fact and then try and defend yourself and, you know, against the claims that were made against you before you were even involved. So again, everything happens after the fact, but you lose your second amendment rights completely for a period of time. Now, if you can't successfully defend yourself against what they're saying about you, then you could lose it for five, 10 plus years you will have no more Second Amendment rights. I mean, it's gone completely for that period of time. But this is what Tim Wall says about red flags. On another big issue that lots of folks are talking about, how should federal gun laws be different than they are right now? Well, look, I'm a, I'm a hunter. I was out this weekend for pheasant season. I think the vice president and I are the first Democratic ticket that we're both gun owners. And we believe in the Second Amendment, but there are common sense things like enhanced background checks to keep guns out of the hands of the wrong people and extreme risk protection orders. And many of those are families concerned about family members in or harming someone else. Those are things that don't infringe on your Second Amendment. They allow you to go deer hunting. They allow you to have a firearm in your home. But those are the type of things that keep people safe. So like I said, that should answer your question definitively, right? He is the governor. He's the one that puts the final pen to paper when making these laws in his state. And he said that ERPOs or red flags they don't remove your Second Amendment rights. Uh, you can still keep a firearm in the home and you can still use a firearm for hunting which is 100% not the case. If you get red flagged, all of that stuff is gone. Your ability to own, purchase, possess, all of that is stripped away from you. Now, let's just play devil's advocate and say that he misspoke, right? This is a very important topic, not one to take lightly, because again, you're talking about stripping people of one of their constitutional rights without due process. It, it, there's a lot of people that say that there's due process involved because obviously a judge has to give the order. But if the person who that order is being granted against has no idea what's going on until after the fact and can't defend themselves until after the fact, that can't possibly be anything close to due process. What it really is, is state sanctioned confiscation. That's, that's what it should be called. It shouldn't be called red flags or anything else. It should be called state sanctioned confiscation. That is what happens in those situations. Now, I know this is just gonna be a short video, but I wanted to show you that. I felt like that clip was important because it showed a lack of understanding uh, of the topic in this area. Again, a very important topic that can't be taken lightly. So again, I wanted to share that clip with you guys, share that around, let people know about it. Uh, if you haven't yet, subscribe to this channel, try and help uh, support our cause if you would. And uh, you know, the little bell notification will let you know when new videos come out. Thank you all very much for watching. You guys have a great day.